children. How you doing, Missy? Uh, I'm doing fantastic. How about you, uh, Governor Newsom? Do you know what a deep transitioner good. is? Do you know Chloe Cole? At the age of 15, she got her breasts removed and now regrets it because of gender. How, How are you? How about the Lodi woman? She Oh, at 13, she got her breasts removed. Gender affirmative care. Yeah, I mean, I, I, I just had a... But young girls and young boys can get their body parts removed. Talk to me, our duty. I'm an attorney. I send you letters. Our kids being able to medically transition at such a young age. What do you have to say to those parents? What do you have to say? All right, guys. Hello ladies and gentlemen, hope you have a great and wonderful day, and Gavin Newsom has done the unthinkable, has done almost the impossible in terms of what his party and his people are going to be, uh, want him to be, and um, he has uh, vetoed a controversial gender b bill. We're going to go over that in a little bit here, but we're going to kind of show you um, what he said, he's not going to become president, they're not eyeballing him for presidency, he, he kind of just says... No, this is not what I want to do. I do not want to become president. He's going, I'm going to, it's like Joe Biden is probably the best one here. But I think this is a play, a ploy, if you say, if you will. Mostly because um, Joe Biden is seeming to want to be getting out. He has um, not been looking too great lately, especially today and uh, coming out with further news. So um, I'm kind of concerned on what's going on there. So, and nobody really likes Kamala Harris. So who could possibly be the next person up up and running that would be the best person for the job? Well, the all eyes are pointing to Newsom here, and he just says he's not going to do this. Uh, take a look. Campaign apparatus, we haven't even started. And we get back on the field, and all of us, Democrats, in positions of, of, of you know, importance, moral authority, those Democrats that have no formal authority, and we get out and we make the case to the American people why this president and this administration deserve a second term. So message is my first point of confusion. Yep. Messenger is an obvious one, but, you know, I have one of you at home. Uh, you're a sitting governor. I have a former sitting governor yeah. at home. <laughs> and when I would talk about helping the national, I'd say, well, be careful because there's a line. If you believe it that much, then it should be you. And yeah. that's how I feel about you, Gov, which is I get that you want to help your team. Yeah. But why not you? If you really care that much about the issues, I know you say you're not running, yeah. which is yeah. unusual to put a period at it. Yeah. Exclamation why, if you point. care, why don't you run if you I care? Because I believe in this guy. Actually, you know, you know why? You think Joe Biden is the I best the Democrats can do? And, and I hope you can differentiate because your BS meter is one of the best because you've been around this all your life. I don't like this guy. I have deep respect, reverence for Joe Biden as a person, his character, his decency, and his capacity to do great things. That's why I'm not worthy of that conversation. This guy deserves it. And we, as, as members of the party, deserve to have his back more forcefully. And none of the nonsense, all those, you, you, these quiet conversations you've been in, we've all been in, folks talking behind the back, that become headlines. And we're all chasing that right now. We've got to get on the team. We've got to get this, this guy reelected. And we've got to stop all the navel-gazing and the hand-wringing and all the behind-the-scenes quiet conversations off the record that tend to find their way into the press as, you know, a sources, you know, close yeah, but, to. But, God, the, like, but the, the logic of it, I see what you're doing. Yeah. And you know how your polling goes. Yeah. You check every box that the current president doesn't for the people who are worried about him. How do you balance that with telling people, I'm here for you, I care about what matters to you, I'm going all over the country to make this message because I believe in it, but I'm not going to do it? I mean, Look what he did, not just at the G20, what he's done in G7. NATO's stronger than ever. It's larger than ever. What he's doing with the Quad, what he just did at Camp David uh, with Japan and Korea, South Korea. I mean, those are things, with all due respect to guys like me, we're not in a position. So you think he wins on the record? I think he's done an extraordinary job. I care about performance and character on both fronts. He's the right guy. And end of the day, I like the team he's put together, and I think that team should stay on the field, and I like the momentum, and I like the direction of this country, and with all due respect, I get the Republican arguments about, well, we identify the obvious cost of eggs are higher, cost of gas is higher, but what the hell are they proposing to make a difference? Directionally, we're moving in the right direction. When you have a record that says you have seven times more jobs 
seven times in the last three Republican administrations combined? I mean, that should be the easiest message in the world. To but if sell. you, but if you. So there you have it. They, he is praising up and down about Joe Biden and everything good that he's been doing, right? It's just a way of things that he's been doing. He, and this is making me a question on what's been going on. Because right now we have this that, uh, again, he goes, we have Newsom vetoes controversial gender identity bill in California. And this is something that. It's been an ongoing thing in California. And th and I'll give credit where credit is due. I do enjoy and I do like what Gavin Newsom did here. I don't like majority of his policies, but at least this time around, he has done something that has not only defended kids and um, honestly saved a lot of women from actually getting raped into uh, a lot of ways of uh uh, uh and it's by by veto, vetoing this so good on him at least on this front but uh, it almost seems like it's almost a ploy to kind of trick people okay i'm doing this so you can vote for me next time around so that way you know this happens and this is something that uh um that is you know questionable right that i see but this is a win. But this is something that California has been doing. Take a look at this clip here to where California has really been um, pushing on the message here, pushing on to where uh, where they want this to happen to, to kids. Affirm their children. They have since the dawn of time. Typically, it happens when their um, gender identity expression matches their biological gender. But what happens is when it doesn't, that's when the affirmation starts to wane. And that's what we're dealing with here. Although it's called the TGI bill, they're not mentioned anywhere in the law. What's mentioned in the law is the child's gender identity and expression and the parent's affirmation of that, whatever it is, because that is our duty as parents to affirm our so there you have it. It just seems that this is a thing that is ongoing here with uh, with the uh, with the Democrats. So they keep on pushing this type of uh, Jim affirming thing, and it just doesn't seem to be going well. But now we have this from the Hill, and I know we take this for with this this horrible website with a grain of salt. All right, I understand this. But if they're reporting on this, and they're also probably mean something, right? So yeah, the, we have majority of Americans oppose gender affirming care for minors, trans women participating in sports. So we have a majority of Americans oppose allowing gender affirming care for minors and trans women approximately in, in women's sports, poll found. A Washington Post poll found that 68% of adults oppose access to puberty blocking medication for transgender children ten, ages 10 through 14, and 58% oppose access to hormonal treatments for, trans, for transgender kids ages 15 to 17. More than 60% said transgender women and girls should not be allowed to compete with other women and, and, and girls in youth, high school, college, and professional sports. The results come as Republican states across the country have pushed for bills to restrict minors' access to gender-affirming care and banned transgender women from competing on sports teams in line with their gender identity. I, I I don't think that this is also the result from the Republicans though that that pushed for this. I think the thing that you're kind of like horribly understanding here is that most people just don't think it's a good idea to ch uh, to have a kid make a life changing situation. You're dealing with the majority here. You're not dealing with the minority. It says bans or restrictions on minors accessing gender affirming care have been implemented on in 18 states. According to the Movement Advancement Project, uh, tracks resolution affecting the LGBTQ community. So yeah, exactly. So what we're seeing here is that people don't like this, people hate this, and it's something that people just don't want in their in their society. And unfortunately for them, it's just crazy. And we have this article here, kind of showing exactly what we're talking about with like Gavin with Gavin Newsom vetoing it say vetoed two major bills one driverless big rigs and the other could impact 
the parents of trans children. The bill AB 957 would have required judges to consider a parent's affirmation of their child's gender identity in custody cases when parents split up. The author of the bill said it was meant to protect trans kids in, content in contentious custody battles. And in explaining the veto, the governor said, quote, I urge caution when the executive and legislative branches of state government attempt to dictate in prescriptive terms that single out one characteristic legal standards for the judicial branch to apply. Yep, so now we have this, we are in this situation. Well, uh, at the very least, it is a W, at least for California people, because at least kids would not have to risk losing their, uh, losing their kids to the government if they don't affirm the gender of their child. So that's a plus, but everything else in California is still a complete failure. But I, as I said, I have to give uh, um, compliments what compliments is due, and Gavin Newsom did do something good here. Regardless whether his intentions are, at least something good came out of this. And of course, the far left is going to cry and rage about this because, oh no, what about us? It's like, no, it's just like, you guys are all idiots. Majority of America is against you. You're trying to push the minority onto the majority, and it needs to stop. All right, guys, that's it for the video. Like I said, share. As always, take care.